course. Okay. Come on, Nick. It's not what kind okay. of question is that? Present okay. company. I mean, I, I, I forgot that you're acting. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to surprise you guys. Say, oh, yeah. Little Cole Beasley kind of nice with it. People Cole don't Beasley give him no nice. respect. I give him Cole props. Beasley. I got to go with Lou Will and Dame Lillard, though. And Marquise Daniels. Damian Daniel. Lillard, oh, who I thought Marquise yes. Daniels yes. is Lady on Bell, I heard the mixtape's not bad, though. I haven't listened to it, I'm not going to lie. But I've heard it's not bad. Cole Beasley's nice. And though. Jenna, did you say 315? Is it 315? That's Syracuse, New York. Listen, I lived there for four it's years. Going down. Can you imagine? It's going Lady down in the queues. Album release party. Marshall Street. <laughs> Holler at us. Nick Bites <laughs> providing all black and mild. Everything else you might need. I'm going to get that hand dry. I got right. your spots, too, El Bell. If you get need that them. hand black and mild. Uh, let's get back to the NBA quickly, please. The Celtics continued their up-and-down season, losing to the Nuggets last night just by 30 points and four steals from Kyrie. Boston now the fifth seed out east, one game back of the Pacers. Steven, what do you make of the Celtics with 11 games left to go now in the regular season? Well, at, at, the, at this point, I think they're comfortable in knowing that they had a terrible year, but they're trying to figure it out going into the playoffs. They, they haven't been playing well all year. Kyrie's been solid. We know what Kyrie's going to do. We know what he's going to do in the playoffs. We're still worried about the other guys. I think mm -hmm. these, these guys were a different team last year without Kyrie. You know, mm -hmm. now Kyrie's here. They, they have their closer, but it don't seem like everybody's as confident as they were last year. And the players looking like that. I think the coach is still trying to do the same job, but the confidence this team had last year without Kyrie, I don't think they're the same confidence. So team. you don't buy the narrative that for some, it's not a narrative that they have won a much greater percentage of their games without Kyrie than with him. Mm -hmm. But it is a narrative that are they somehow better without Kyrie Irving? You don't buy that. They don't need Kyrie for regular season. Playoffs, they need him. They're not going nowhere without mm -hmm. Kyrie in the playoffs. They can say all they, they won all these games without him during the regular season because nobody really cares about regular season. Playoffs, you don't have Kyrie, you don't have a chance. Right. The biggest problem, though, in the playoffs is that unless you're a veteran-oriented ball club that has potentially won a lot of games and series together, like, we don't know what we're going to get with them. Yes, they're better off with Kyrie, and Kyrie is going to be ready for the playoff. Kyrie's had a great regular season, though. It's not like he's just been trying to, you know, coach to try to get to the playoff. He has had a spectacular season. Mm -hmm. It's the rest of them are the buy-in. Jason Tatum, did him working out with Kobe and all the other things from year one to year two. People saying, one day you're going to lead the NBA in scoring. Well, well, really, Jalen Brown, his lack of minutes, being rotated in with Gordon Hayward. Should they have been playing him those minutes? Yes. Um, Rozier, the point guard, I deserve to be a starter. I'm trying to get a new contract. And Brad Stevens, this is the most talented team he's ever had, getting the least results. Mm -hmm. Typically, what he gets from a butler or when he went to where he coached in college, undermanned. Two and three star recruits turned them into potential champions. We saw with the Celtics when they had injuries and the, not the talent they have now, what they did in last year's playoffs. So those are some of the things that I don't believe that because they haven't won a bunch of series together. If it was Golden State, if it was Houston or some other team, even OKC, I've been like, you know something? I can understand them. It's hard to hit that switch when everyone else has hit their switch also. You don't believe all those things can come together for the playoffs? I, it would be, to me, it'd be yeah. shocking. I, th listen, the, the Celtics are, and Indiana's just been disrespected all year long, and I'm going to continue it here. Like, the fourth in the East, we just disregard them. Since they lost Oladipo, I don't think most many people believe they can be even Eastern Conference finalists. So there's Milwaukee, there's Toronto, there's Philly, there's Boston. And could Boston beat any of those teams in a series? Yeah, they could. Could they win consecutive series against two of those teams? What we don't no. believe is a month, though. A month, exactly, which is what it takes. Could they do it for two weeks mm -hmm. to win one of those series? Yeah. Can they do it for a month to win two of them? I don't believe so. You can't, I, just, you can't just turn it on. You can't just turn it on. They have to get something going these last 10 games of the season to, uh, to go into the playoffs playing well, and that's what Golden State's doing right Do you now. even put that team, the Celtics team, on the same tier as the other top three or four in the East? Milwaukee, in the, in the East? Philly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because mm -hmm. they still have Kyrie. you got to remember, this team was just in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they have the team, and Kyrie coming along and being the leader, I think they got a good chance, but they got to start playing now. Tell me about all the negative things. When they're talking about it's a toxic locker room, because, man, you've been in a lot of locker rooms, and you typically have your, your thumb right on the pulse as far as what's going to transpire. All the things they said about it. The one thing that I see with the Celtics, they don't share the basketball like they used to. They're not playing team defense. But, man, when you tell me it's toxic and I don't like being here or I don't like being with you, mm -hmm. man, don't you think that's going to affect them going into the playoffs? Even? Well, I, I, like I said, I talked to Kyrie doing all this going on. And the main thing with him was there's no sense of urgency. Like, 
We all here, we're all getting paid a lot of money. Why are we not giving everything we have? Why are we not giving all our concentration to winning games? We have the team. And the focus is not there all the time. And, and I can understand that frustration. You know, mm -hmm. we just came from the Eastern Conference Finals. We have a healthy team, we have a chance to win a championship. We have a great team, a great coach. We have everything we need. Why are we not putting it together? And ego sometimes can be in that. Mm -hmm. You know, guys looking over their shoulder, guys worrying about their contract. All that stuff, all that stuff coming into play. But when you're losing, everything magnifies. And here's where the regular season does matter. Because you need to figure out what your actual rotation is going to be and what Gordon Hayward's role is going to be. Mm -hmm. Here's another place it matters. The Celtics, on that run to the Eastern Conference Finals last year, they won one road playoff game. Mm -hmm. As we sit here today with 11 games left, mm -hmm. they will start every playoff series they play on the road. Their best case mm -hmm. scenario is that they have home court advantage in one round of the playoffs if they get it together over the final 11 games of the year. And when you said everyone makes a lot of money, that's the been the underlying story with the Celtics all year long is three of their key rotation guys, Tatum, Brown, Rozier, mm -hmm. haven't been paid yet. Mm -hmm. Marcus mm -hmm. Morris is a pending free agent. Yep. They build so, in a resume. Right, so it's, it's tougher to ask a guy to t make a sacrifice and to do what's right for the team when they are yet... They ain't made no all-star teams. They haven't. They, they have no a accolades in this league yet, and they haven't gotten their check. So for those reasons, that's it's harder when Kobe's telling you, "Hey, man, mama mentality. Go be the leading scorer." Jalen Brown, you go be a poor man's Kawhi Leonard or Marcus Morris. You're gonna go get paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we all. Now it's about team success. That's that's easier with a veteran team who's gotten their money. All right, Stephen. Thanks. We come back tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, I will be. See you tonight, bro. All week. Yes, sir. Coming up, are the Cowboys about to sign a big-time free agent next on First Things First? Wrote that rotate that cologne on me too. Really strong on Monday. Bounce back with a five-star selection on Tuesday, Wednesday. I like a little something. I needed legal advice for my shop. That's when I.